Okay, here's another automation. So, for the automatic manhole, another progress for this one. Um, so, currently, supposedly this uh, ICTL level should the same when you type the top top level of this IC right it should be offset also here in uh, in this offset level number but if if I type this one here it will move move uh, the whole plumbing and manhole plumbing fixture or manhole together with it so it's not correct so what you must do is you must edit the family okay and then in the project browser front you create a shared parameter for this one so this one will change when you type the sanitary height equal to the TL. So if I type here sanitary height 107.45, so it will go up accordingly. Okay. So that's how you control the uh, top level. So once you set that one, Okay, I'll show you here. Um, you load that to the project. I'll just not save this one. So let's say I will create another example. And then I will create new line here. Maybe in here. Going down. Down. A little offset. just an example okay so here we are so like select okay if I run my dynamo now here is my dynamo okay I'm um, fixtures okay and then run I will select a line one two any line example this one up to here escape and then I will select the plumbing fixtures fixture sorry so one singular it will run now this one with the correct sloping what happened? Okay, I think I missed something here in the phone. It should be uh, ah, that's why ah, uh, should be ace manhole. Ace Is manhole I don't know why I see some this one or the other one. Oh, this one with DL. Then the story I made the mistake should be first story, and then similar to here, pipe type is already fixed. We check also the level here, so should be first story. So that's it. And I will see this one, and they are closed for now. And open again. So 
you should be able to edit no and no if you create if if you don't master dynamo script you just copy it and then forget it then you will not able to edit all the inputs and output here all this connection here so imagine no this one i did not make this one in one in one sitting you have to do it maybe a weeks two weeks integrating all this um connection these nodes and there's a function in its nodes in the scripting so still no, i'm not considered an expert i'm just uh this is just um like a hobby hobby with intention no? <laughs> to get a salary high salary no? <laughs> anyway so after that one i think we made a mistake selection there are still many things to do to practice no as long as you keep practicing dynamo then you're you're okay and learning new new scripts and process to help you automate all those uh repeat repetitive tasks in Revit. okay so it's escape and then select the I see, then escape run again. So here, here we go. We have now this correct sloping. But the problem is that our offset, uh, where is it, dimensions? It's not yet done, no? So to be able to automate again the offset also, example, if I type here, create a section. Um, okay, let me just illustrate an example. So if I draw a section here. Currently, the steps not yet perfect. So I'm showing you how to edit this one. So my this is a level zero no the offset of this one is zero up to here at the top that is the level one zero if i type here the offset of the top level it will move and then it will not now in the correct depth okay so we'll just change this one to zero so my colleague did explain to me that this one top top level should just extend but the the offset is still zero so i made the editing of the i edit the family and then from there created a shared parameter and then i had to type here so that's the correct one okay so let's say you have a series of all those uh manhole right then you're going to again it's a repetitive task again manual and then you select manually you you select this this one if it has a top level then you have to change again so the way to automate that one and especially you know the numbering already so this one what will be the numbering of this one uh fixture face fixture floor Usually, what's the mark? Okay, we don't have a mark yet. So, we can place a mark first. So, let's say use the roots. Reordering. We place a numbering now. Then, new selection. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay, finish. How come it's four only? Ah, oh, okay. New selection. Multiple, select this one. One, two, 
9 we have 9 to finish okay then after that you can place now the number ring for the fixture mark let's say starting number 0 1 then multiplier uh, okay no need to do that. prefix will be I mean IC you can put caps lock IC dash okay so you see here automatic it will now place the IC okay and then close if you select this one you have now the mark here now in the schedule you have to create a schedule to automate the offset of this uh, where is it to automate the offset of this one by one if if this one has a top level difference it's not zero okay then what you need to do is you go to the schedule this one so we have an IC here numbering zeros okay and the sanitary top top level height has only we place only one so if you want to change that one then we can make it here um, okay so if I go to the D roots D roots sheet link Shit. 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 No, 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 no shit. Shit. Okay, you change this schedule. Shit. Shit schedule. No, 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 sorry. It's hard to, for me to enunciate or pronounce shit. 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 Okay, shit. And then you go to the plumbing fixtures then you have a schedule export say export desktop plumbing fixtures in sample yes you can replace don't worry so as you can see here we can assort this one to A to Z and let's say you want to check the top level of this one you want to or set up level ILTL. So currently our TL here is similar. But what if you want to place you no know, a different top level? You have you know already the numbering, but in the other Excel you know the numbering of the IC and then you have already the defined IL and TL. So what you need to do is just copy you no know, you have to so yeah, I will just copy this one just for example and then place the TL here and you have still to maybe 45 again this one, this one and so after that you save this one and then minimize so watch what will happen okay uh, okay I will just import the plumbing fixtures open and then it will now write all those uh, shared top level height for the family so if we go here okay, let, me, let me close this one ah that's the problem with uh, if you don't practice speaking no okay. You get mumbly, mumbly. As you can see now, if I go this one, let's say I will isolate this one, right? And then, as you could check the line, it's now offset, but the uh, the depth still correct. Still, the, the I mean the depth of the manhole is still in the correct order center to center you know? it, it did not move because once if I change here like I want to put 200 then it will move no so it's not the correct uh, process for this uh, manhole